Hi guys, welcome to Matsi. I'm Miss Resi, your teacher for today. So today we're going to discuss about the double right circular comb. So what is a double right circular comb? Let's I highlight some of the words. When a straight line intersects a vertical line at a fixed point, Let's try to draw a straight line. That will intersect a vertical line. So another line which is vertical line. So it will intersect at a fixed point. Another thing is it will rotate about that fixed point. So let's have the rotation upward and downward rotate about its fixed point the surface of them is called double right circular cone so let's proceed to the parts of the double right circular cone double right circular cone is consists of two cones joined at a fixed point. So let's draw uh, two cones. So one cone is on the top, and then another one is inverted like this, joined at a fixed point. So that is called the vertex. So next, so let's try to draw while analyzing the line. words. Line that rotates about the vertex. So from the cone, double circular cone, here's the vertex. So the line that rotates, this is the line that rotates and about the vertex. So that is called generator. Next. So let's try to check the line that remains fixed. So let's see. Again, a double circular cone. So where can you find the line that is uh, fixed? So it's called vertical in some other books it's uh, right here let's use the color green so that is the vertical axis or just axis next so when you flip the cone the base is circular both bases on the upper part the lower part next okay let's check 
So where can you find the axis? So let's analyze the axis is always perpendicular line from the center of the base. So where is the axis again? It's the vertical line from top to bottom. So it should be vertically perpendicular to the base. So what do you mean by perpendicular? Perpendicular forms a right angle or having 90 degrees. Exactly 90 degrees measurement. Same with the upper part, base. Next. So let's try to check perimeter. What do you mean by perimeter of the base? So our base is the circular form on top and bottom. And the perimeter is the one that surrounds the base that is called the direct risks next so what do you mean by lateral surface what is a lateral surface you're going to get the lower part of the cone for example this one So the lateral surface is the one that covers the cone. So imagine so it will look like this. Oops. So when you remove the cover, it will look like this. So that is called nap. Next, there are two naps for a double right circular cone. So where can you find the upper nap? So, for example, here is the vertex. The upper nap is located um, here. Let's try to put some highlighter. Let's use orange. So, the upper nap here so that is the upper nap how about the lower nap so it's located here let's try to color it highlight with violet So, that is the lower nap. Remember that a nap is always the lateral surface. So, you don't need to include the bases. Okay? And for the last part, or can you find the vertex angle? So it is the angle between the generator and the axis. 
remember where can you find the generator the generator is located here and the other one is here so if you're going to draw only one it's like that and where can you find the axis or the vertical axis it's from top to bottom so where is the vertical angle so the vertical angle is just here between the ang the generator and the uh, axis can be also located here so either so that's the vertical vertex angle